Is it rolling? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. So today, we're here to teach to you about the... What? We're supposed to say it together like we rehearsed. Okay. The... the well, wait till I count to three. One, two, three. The, the causes, causes and, and effects, effects of, of, the cold of the Cold War. War. Yay! Okay, so first, let's start out with this professionally made reenactment of the Alta Conference. All right, roll the clip. I insist that the Soviet Union needs to maintain control of Eastern Europe to be able to protect itself from future aggression. With an eye favor self-determination of Eastern Europe, which will give people the right to choose their own form of government. Yeah! But we also need to help with your help with the war. You know what? Let us agree that the Soviet Union will enter the war against the Japanese within three months of Germany's surrender. Okay, then we, we promise the Soviets will take possession of Southern Sakhalin Island, the, the Kura Island, and occupation zone in Korea. to that reenactment? Uh, me? Uh, it's supposed to be professional. Do you know what that means? You only gave me like five bucks to make it. Uh, so you bought paper bags? Well, yeah, I... Well, okay. I'm over it. I'm over it. Okay, so for information on the United Nations, we're gonna go to my neighbor's house because he learned all about it in college and then he moved in with his mom when he dropped out, which I think is really... Uh, okay, okay, let's, let's just go. Okay, okay let's go. Okay. Oh, by the way, he doesn't speak English. He speaks Norwegian. Uh, yeah, I think so. But she, but she understands. Yeah, I can. I can put in subtitles and okay. stuff. Is, is my hair okay? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Hi, Jim. Kanako shuti dala. Uh, we're doing a video for our world studies class, and we're wondering if we could ask you about the United Nations, since you know so much about that. Hmm. Okay, uh, so tell us about the United Nations and their involvement in the Cold War. No. June 1945. Wait, wasn't there, wasn't there 191 nations? Oh my god, should we, should we call someone? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I think we should leave. I think, I think we'll should, should we just go? Yeah, I think, I think we'll be fine. Sure. I think we'll be fine. Okay, so for our next location, we, we will decide to talk about the U.S. and Soviet goals. So, here, um, I'll hold the camera. Oh, you, you oh okay, so I just talk. Yeah. All right, the mic here. All right, um, <clears throat> okay, just be really careful with the camera. It's I, I like will. really expensive. Okay. okay. So, um, World War II affected the U.S. and the U.S. started differently, like really differently. The U.S. had 400,000 deaths and no industrial damage. But the USSR had like 50 times as many deaths, and many other cities were destroyed. So their goals were pretty differentiated, and they were um, they were affected differently by the, the Cold War. And Woo! Earthquake! 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 Could you move a chair for like two seconds? Is it? Sorry. Okay. Okay. It's possible. I promise. Okay. Here, here's the camera. Okay, so for our next thing, we decided to have a professional video made to represent the USSR and Eastern Europe. Roll the clip. Hi, boys and girls. I represent the USSR. <gasps> What's this? Oh, no. It's the West. And it's attacking me. Ah! Oh, no. I must protect myself. I have an idea. I'll violate the Yalta Agreement by imposing communist governments in European countries! Yay! 
definitely you. 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 Oh, yeah, you. You. And you. Yay. What was that? There was an analogy of the USSR. I, I don't care. Okay, next we're going to have, uh, we're going to be interviewing my grandpa about the Potsdam Conference. Hi, Grandpa. Can you tell us about the Potsdam Conference? Mm. Well, it happened in July 1945, as I remember, but I was just a little boy when I saw it in the newspapers. <clears throat> I remember that Truman was a lot more forceful than with, Stal with Stalin and Roosevelt and he demanded free elections in Eastern Europe. But Stalin refused to budge, and there was a famous quote that he said. Um, Can you remember it? Yes, I believe it was, it, it went like this. Co communism and cap capitalism cannot cannot exist in the same world and the and the war between the United States and the so Soviet Re Union is certain okay thank you very much let's go okay so we have one more thing to talk about the Iron Curtain so I thought I'd explain it oh god no I can do this okay so Germany was kind of like this piece of bread, split into two parts. This was the east side, and this was the west part. The east was a German Democratic Republic under Soviet control, and the west was the Federal Republic of Germany under Western control. Now, the Iron Curtain was the boundary separating the communist nations of Eastern Europe from the mostly democratic nations of Western Europe. In the Iron Curtain speech, Churchill viewed the world split into two camps, and Stalin viewed the speech as a call to war. What are you doing? Um, I'm eating. You're eating Germany? Give that no, back! No, no! Give that back!